equipment that we have to, to broaden the reach of this liturgy. Uh, at the heart of it, this event today came from a desire that most of us have experienced, a desire to do something in feeling so helpless. And today is obviously a, uh, an opportunity for us to enter into the mystery of the Eucharist, to, to, wor to worship the Lord, but to do so in solidarity with the people of Ukraine um, over in, over, overseas and also um, people who are um, from, from within our own community. It's also an opportunity for us to experience the richness of the Catholic faith that for many of us, for most of us here today, I think we, we, we have an exclusive experience of the Roman Rite, and the Roman Rite is only one of quite a, lot, quite a number of, of, of rites. And so today's a reminder of what it means to be Catholic in the way that we celebrate the Eucharist and also in our solidarity with people throughout the world. So thank you for being here, and to any uh, visitors or guests who are with us today, you're most welcome. We're very thrilled uh, to have uh, Archbishop Dunn with us here today as well. So um, I'm going to turn things over to Father Roman, and he's going to lead us. Curry. And oh, oh, Bishop Curry, he, he's, he's here. He's always here. <laughs> it's good to have him with us as well. And, and Fa Father, Father Charlie is with us as well. Thank you. Just before we begin, uh, by way of explanation, in the Eastern Rite, the priest faces, stands at the front of the altar, and it's not that I have my back to you. The priest in the Eastern Rite is considered part of the congregation, so we all stand facing in the same direction. And the icon wall is which separates the sanctuary from the nave. And it's, I just used the wrong term. It doesn't separate, it unites. So the icon wall represents the saints, and the nave is considered the world. The sanctuary is considered heaven. So in order to get from the world to heaven, we imitate the saints, we use them as our role models, as our mentors, and that allows us to pass into paradise. So again, the icon wall is here not as a divider, but as a unifier. So we will begin with the Ukrainian hymn, a Lenten hymn, to begin today's service as the fathers and his grace enter and take their place. Please. Do, do you venerate the altar? <laughs> will be mostly in English with Ukrainian parts. To make you familiar and feel comfortable, the responses that are sung in Ukrainian is Hospode Pomeloi, Lord have mercy, and that's repeated many times. Tobi Hospode, to you, O Lord, 
and for thy hospite, grant this, O Lord. We will be adding special petitions today for your prayers for the people of Ukraine and for the situation there, and that will be part of the reflection, the homily after the reading of the gospel. The gospel will be read in both Ukrainian and in English. O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Heavenly King, Advocate, Spirit of Truth, whoever of present, fill all things, treasure, blessing, giver of life, come and dwell in us. Cleanse us of every stain and save us, O the gracious Lord. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace among you, goodwill. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace among men, goodwill. O Lord, you'll open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. Blessed be the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For peace from on high and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For peace throughout the world, for the well-being of God's holy churches and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy church and for all who enter it with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For the Holy Ecumenical Pontiff, Francis, Pope of Rome, for his beatitude, our patriarchs, Sviatoslav, our most reverend, Metropolitan, Lawrence, the, his grace, Archbishop Brian, and our God-loving Bishop Brian, the reverend priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For a nation under God, for our government and for all the military, let us pray to the Lord. For this city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For the seafarers and travelers, for the sick and the suffering, for those held captive and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord that we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, need, and misfortune. Let us pray to the Lord. Help and save, have mercy, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Remembering our most holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious lady, the mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, Together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For all glory, honor, and worship befit you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Shout to the Lord all the earth. Sing now to his name, give glory to his praise. Through the prayers of the Mother of God, O Savior, save us. Say unto God, how awesome are your works. Because of the greatness of your strength, your enemies will flatter you. Through the prayers of the Mother of God, O Savior, save us. Let all the earth worship you and sing to you. Let it sing to your name, O Most High. Through the prayers of the Mother of God, O Savior, save us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and forever and ever. Amen. Only be God and so.
Son and Word of God, you are immortal, and you willed for our salvation to be made flesh of the Holy Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary. And without change you became man. You were crucified, O Christ our God, and trampled death by death. You are one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help and save, have mercy, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Remembering our most holy, immaculate, most blessed, and glorious Lady, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For you are a good and loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim God our Savior, Son of God, risen from the dead. Save us who sing to you, alleluia. Let us come before his face with praise and acclaim him in psalms. Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you, alleluia. For God is the great Lord, and the great King over all the earth, Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you, Amen. Blessed be the entrance of your saints, always now and forever and ever. Wisdom, stand aright. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, Son of God, risen from the dead. Save us who sing to you, alleluia. By your cross you destroy death, you open paradise to the thief. You change the lamentation of the murderers to joy and charge the apostles to proclaim that you are risen, O Christ our God, offering great mercy to the world. Save your people, O Lord, and bless your inheritance. Grant victory to your faithful people, against enemies and protect your community by your cross. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and forever and ever. Amen. No longer does the flaming sword guard the gate of Eden. 
and the tree of the cross has quenched its flames gloriously. The sting of death and the victory of Hades are banished, and you, O oh my Savior, came and called to those in Hades, return again to paradise. Holy, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. To your cross, O oh Master, we bow in veneration and we glorify your holy resurrection. To your cross, O Master, we bow in veneration, and we glorify your holy resurrection. To your cross, O Master, we bow in veneration, and we glorify your holy resurrection. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, and for 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 the Holy Spirit, and we glorify your holy resurrection. To your cross, O oh Master, we bow in veneration, and we glorify your holy resurrection. Let us be attentive, peace be with all. Wisdom, let us be attentive. The Prokimenon is in the sixth tone. Save your people, O Lord, and bless your inheritance. Unto you I will cry, O Lord my God, lest you turn me from me in silence. Save your people, O Lord, and bless your inheritance. Wisdom. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Please be seated. Having a great high priest who has passed right through to the heavens, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, let us hold fast the faith we profess. It is not as if our high priest was incapable of sympathizing with our weaknesses, but he was tried in everything like ourselves except sin. Let us therefore come with confidence to the throne of grace, so that we may receive mercy and find grace in time when we need it. For every high priest is chosen from among men and is made the representative in things which pertain to God, that he may offer gifts and sacrifices in expiation of their sins. He is qualified to be compassionate to the ignorant and erring, since he too is beset with infirmity. And for this reason, 
He must offer sacrifices for his own sins, just as he does for the sins of the people. And no one takes the honor of being a mediator and representative of men before God upon himself, unless he was called by God as Aaron was. So it is with Christ. He did not take the dignity of the priesthood by himself. On the contrary, he was, he was raised by him who said to Jesus, you are my son, I have begotten you today. As he also said elsewhere, you are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. Peace be with you, Thomas. Wisdom, let us be attentive. Please stand for the Alleluia's. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Remember your congregation which you acquired from the beginning. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. But God is our King before the ages. He has wrought salvation in the midst of the earth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Wisdom, stand aright. Let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace. Be with all and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory be to you, O Lord. Glory be to you. Yevanhilia vicha to merka bold mo uvajni. Skazav hospod kto hoche zam noju ite. Nechai vidre cheche sebe i vish me chrestvi i za mnoju hrjade. Bo jak štoh to hoće dušu svoju spaste, pohubit ji. A kto pohubi dušu svoju mene rade i evangeliji, to i spase ji. Jaka bo to koris čolovikove, kole i uveš vič to bude, a za napaste i dušu svoju. Abo što daš čolovik zamin za dušu svoju. Bo jak što ktoš poste daje će mene i mojih sliv urodićim, preljubodinim i hrišnim. I sin čoloviće poste daje će joho, kole prejde u slavi oča svoho, zanhele me svijate me. Iske zavim, amin, hlaholju vam, što je te je ki to, što je či, je ki ne ti znaju smerte. Поки не увидеть царство Боже, що прийшло у селі. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Let us be attentive. The Lord said, if anyone wants to come after me, let him renounce himself, take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake, and for the gospel's sake shall save it. For what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? For if anyone is ashamed of acknowledging me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, the Son of God, when he comes in his Father's glory with the holy angels, will also be ashamed of him. And he said to them, Indeed I tell you, there are some of those standing here who shall not taste of death before they have seen the kingdom of God coming in power. Glory be to you, O Lord, glory be to you. Before going into the homily, just 
another explanation. You have maybe noticed that in the Eastern Rite, we cross ourselves differently. We fold the first three fingers together. Any guess what the three fingers represent? <laughs> the Trinity. The two fingers that remain are bent down. We have to give them significance or we otherwise would have to chop them off. So instead of doing that, the two fingers that are bent forward represent Jesus as God and Jesus as man, the two natures of Christ. And we make the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. His grace will be upset at me because I'm about to tell you, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> if you were praying in Latin, oh, you're doing it correctly. If you're praying in Italian, you're doing it correctly. In Spanish, correctly. In English, wrong. <laughs> because the word holy should always fall on the right shoulder. And if you remember your Latin, in nome de Padre, e Filio, e Spirito Santo, Santo, Holy. Holy is the right side. Holy is the good side. Holy is the strong side. They just, when they switched to the vernacular to not confuse people, they maintained the making of the cross the way the Roman Catholics always have. So please continue to do that. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Whoever wants to follow me must take up his cross, forsake himself, take up his cross, and follow me. I'd like to tell you a story. The story is about John. Now, it could be anyone. Could be Michael, could be Nicholas, could be Peter, could even be a woman. So I don't want the women to say, hey, only the men are the bad ones. John had a very annoying character. He didn't trust anyone. He didn't mingle with anyone. Very sort of self-centered. He didn't like anyone. When I mentioned this in another parish, there was an elderly couple sitting where at the front pew. And the man must have been hard of hearing because the wife jabbed him and said, you better listen, he's talking about you. <laughs> John lived to the beat of his own drummer. One night he was asleep and in his sleeping he had a dream. He dreamt that he was carrying the cross. The way you have stations of the cross, you see Jesus carrying the cross, and he saw himself walking down a great field with no end, just flat ground, and he's carrying his cross. And all along with him are hundreds and thousands of people all carrying their cross, all walking in the same direction. And from time to time, he would see someone stumble, and other people would come and help them up, and they continued to walk. After a while, the cross began to dig into John's shoulder, and John stopped, and he said, God, this is John. The load is too heavy. Let me lighten my load. 
And God responded. He said, John, you know I love you. Do what you want. In the dream, John found a saw. He took the saw. He went to one end of the cross and hoopa, 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 he cut off a piece. Put the cross back on better, lighter. He started to walk along with the people again. And again, he's looking at people stumbling and falling and other people going and helping them up. And he's thinking, suckers. After a while, the cross digs in the second time. And John stops and he goes, God, it's me again, John. The cross is too heavy. Let me lighten the load. And again, Jesus responds. He goes, John, you know I love you. Do what you want. Well, John didn't get rid of that saw. He went to the other end of the cross and hoopa, 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 he cut off another piece. And he put the cross back on and he's walking with the other people. The third time, the cross digs in, and he goes, God, and God cut him off. He goes, John, you know I love you. Do what you want. You know what John did, don't you? Everyone, together. (laughs) He cut off the third piece. They're walking And all of a sudden, they come across a crevice. And that crevice stretches from one horizon right across to the other horizon. And John looks at what the other people are doing. And the other people are putting down their cross on one side of the crevice, dropping it to the other side, and walking across to the other side and their crosses disappeared. But because John was cutting his cross shorter and shorter, when he put it down and he dropped it, it fell into the crevice. And John was the only one never to reach the other side, the promised land. I want to focus today not so much on John and his antics. I want to focus on the other people who faithfully carried their cross. Yes, they stumbled. But yes, they had other people help them up. Each person has to carry their cross. But it doesn't mean that we have to carry it unaided and unsupported. I bring to your attention the story of Jesus going to Calvary, carrying his cross. Did he carry the cross to the very end unaided? No. They asked, they they ordered Simon the Serene to take up Jesus' cross to carry the last part to Jesus' crucifixion. Think about that. The Son of God needed help to carry his cross. If Jesus needed help to carry his cross, how much more help do we require to carry our crosses in life? And each person's cross is different. We cannot compare. We do not know the entire story But we know, especially lately, of great burdens being placed on people's crosses. We know what, and again, we're here together to pray for Ukraine, for pray for the people of Ukraine. The weight of the cross that the people in Ukraine have to bear now, to abandon their homes, and to flee 
to, to the unknown, hopefully finding safety and safe harbor. To lose everything through destruction, through the bombing and the missiles and the violence. To lose everything they own. To lose loved ones because they went to fight or they were hit by a missile. 300 people died in a theater that was clearly marked to have children and it was intentionally bombed. Family members are grieving today. So if we're looking for a direction on how to help or who to help, we don't have to look far. We have people here who recently arrived from Ukraine who have family in Ukraine who are worried and terrified what's awaiting their family members. So we pray. We pray for God's intercession. We pray for God's help. We pray for God's support. My question is, who do you pray for? And who should we be praying for? And maybe most of us figured, no, not for him. When you put out a fire, where are you supposed to pour the water? On the flames or on the source of the flames? This is not a rhetorical question. I demand feedback. <laughs> if you pour water on the flames, the water will go through the flames and nothing happens. You have to extinguish the source of the fire. Those prayers that we pray for people's safety and well-being have to be directed to the source of this violence and destruction. We should be praying very hard for Putin, for God to touch his heart, to bring conversion to his soul, for him to realize the damage and the hurt that he's causing without the change of heart, without God's intercession into, with Putin, I, I'm afraid that this destruction and violence will last a long time. So I'm encouraging you in your own prayers, please say a, a small prayer. May God touch Putin's heart. May he bring about a metanoia, a conversion. May he heal him so that he stops the hurt and the damage. And I'm overwhelmed with the support that we've been getting from everyone. In Cape Breton, people are coming forth with donations to help the refugees, to help with the humanitarian aid, to provide medicine, to provide shelter, to provide food. They've also offered their homes. They said, when refugees come, we have places. Come, let us know. We'll take them in. People are responding in beautiful ways. So I'm just encouraging you today to find deep in your heart and ask our, let us ask ourselves, how is it that I, as an individual, can offer the support, help someone with the burden of their cross as they struggle, both here in Canada and abroad? And may the Lord God bless all of us here and grant us the courage and the strength and the love to carry out his will and to, to do his work, 
to be his hands, to be his feet, to be his heart here on earth. C'est ça, c'est tout. Let us continue with our prayers. Please remain seated. Here during the Triple Litany, we will be adding petitions, and please don't be too upset. I will be praying for Putin, asking for God's blessings and God's help with him. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say, Almighty Lord God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Have mercy in us, O God, in the greatness of your compassion, we pray you hear us and have mercy. We also pray for a nation under God, for our government and for all the military. We also pray for all who are struggling under the weight of their cross. May the Lord God offer them support and blessings. We pray to the Lord. We also pray for the people of Ukraine. May the Lord God protect them from all harm and grant them peace and salvation, we pray to the Lord. We also pray that the Lord God touches Putin's heart, that he may stop this destruction and come to a healing, we pray to the Lord. We also pray for the people here present to await your great and bountiful mercy for those who have been kind to us and for all Orthodox Christians. For you are a merciful and loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit now and forever and ever. Amen. Just a quick explanation. You just heard me say, and all you Orthodox Christians, and you'll hear me again use the word Orthodox. This is not a political statement. We are Catholic, but Orthodox means those who praise God properly. So all Catholics are Orthodox in spirit. The politics, let that set, let's set that aside. Again and again in peace, let the faithful pray to the Lord. Heavenly Kingdom. Wisdom so that always protected by your might, we may give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Let us who mystically represent the cherubim and sing the thrice holy hymn to the life-giving, life-giving Trinity. Now lay aside all cares of life. Lay aside all cares of life. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Lift up your hands toward the holy places and bless the Lord. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom the holy ecumenical pontiff Francis, Pope of Rome, his beatitude, our patriarch, Sviatoslav, our most reverend metropolitan Lawrence, our God-loving Grace, Brian, our God-loving Bishop Brian, and all those in the priestly, diaconal, and religious orders, our nation under God, our government, and all the military, the noble and ever to be remembered founders and benefactors of this holy church. May Lord God remember in this kingdom all the people present here and our families both here and away. May Lord God remember in a special way the peoples of Ukraine and protect them from all harm and violence. May Lord God remember in this kingdom all you Orthodox Christians always, now, and forever, and ever. Amen. That we may receive, receive the King of all, escorted invisibly, of angels, ranks of angels, alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. For the precious gift that have been presented, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy church and for all who enter it with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, need, and misfortune, let us pray to the Lord. All your people. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together with your most holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Let us love one another so that we may be of one mind in confessing. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in being and undivided. The doors, the doors in wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. 
I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand well. Let us stand with fear. Let us be attentive to offer in, the, in peace the holy oblation. For mercy of peace, the sacrifice of grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We have lifted them to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. It is right and just to worship the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, Your grace, one Father, please in it. being and undivided. It is right and just to sing of you, to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, to worship you everywhere in, the, in your domain. For you are God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, always existing and ever the same, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You brought us from nothingness into being, and after we fell, you raised us up again. You did not cease doing everything until you led us to heaven and granted us your future kingdom. For all this, we give thanks to you, to your only begotten Son and to your Holy Spirit, for all things which we know and do not know, the benefit bestowed upon us both manifest and hidden. We thank you also for this liturgy of which you ordain to accept from our hands, even though there stand before you thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, the cherubim, seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, hovering aloft on their wings. Singing, crying, exclaiming, and saying the triumphal hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of up. the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. With these blessed powers, O Master, who love mankind, we too cry out and say, Holy are you, truly all holy, you and your only begotten the Son and your Holy Spirit. Holy are you, truly all holy, and magnificent is your glory. You so loved your world as to give your only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. After he had come and fulfilled the whole divine plan for our sake, on the night he was given over, or rather gave himself for the life of the world, he took bread into his holy, most pure and immaculate hands, gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, broke it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the forgiveness of sin. In like manner, the cup, after the supper, saying, Drink of it, all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Amen. Remembering, therefore, the salutary commandment and all that was done for us, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at right hand, the second and glorious coming. We offer to you yours of your own in behalf of all and for all. We sing of you, we bless you, we thank you, O Lord, and we pray to you, our God. 
and make this bread the precious body of your Christ, and that which is in this chalice the precious blood of your Christ. Changing them by your Holy Spirit, amen, amen, amen. So that they may be for the communion and sobriety of soul forgiveness of sins, fellowship of the Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, conscience not for judgment, condemnation. Further, we offer his rational worship, those who have gone to rest in the faith. Forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every righteous soul that finished this life in faith. I bring to your attention that there is a substitute prayer, for it is truly right. Especially for our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious lady, the mother of God and ever Virgin Mary. It is true. Right to bless Takes a while you. for the communion. Truly right to bless you, O God bearing one, as the ever blessed and immaculate. Mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and by far more glorious than the seraphim, ever a virgin you gave birth to God the Word, O oh, true Mother, Mother of our God. We magnify you. Among the first, remember, O Lord, the Holy Ecumenical Pontiff Francis, Pope of Rome, his beatitude, our patriarchs, yet the slav, our most reverend metropolitan Lawrence, our most reverend Grace Brian, our God-loving Bishop Brian, for those who, for the sake of your holy churches, grant that they may live in peace, safety, honor, and health for many years, and rightly impart the word of your truth. And remember all men and all women. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and sing the praises of your most honored and magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. And may the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. Having remembered all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the, for the precious gifts that have been presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. For the that our loving God, who has received them as a spiritual fragrance upon its holy, heavenly, and mystical altar, may send down on us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray that we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, need, and misfortune. Let us pray to the Lord. Help and save, have mercy, and protect us, O God, by your grace. That this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Friend, for the forgiveness and remission of our sins and offenses, let us ask the Lord for all that is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace for the world. Let us ask the Lord that we may spend the rest of our lives in peace and repentance. Let us ask the Lord for a Christian into our life, one that is painless, unashamed, and peaceful, and for a good defense at the awesome tribunal of Christ. Let us ask the Lord. Having asked for unity of faith and for the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Please stand. Make us worthy, O Master, with confidence and without condemnation 
to call to dare call you the heavenly God, Father, and say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Bow your heads to the Lord. We give you thanks, O invisible King, for if in the power create all things, and in your great mercy brought all things out of nothingness into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who bow their heads to you, for they have not bowed them down to flesh and blood, but to you, the awesome God. Therefore, Master, make smooth the way that lies before us all for good, and in accord with each one's personal need. Sail with seafarers, travel with travelers, heal the sick, O physician of souls and bodies. Through the grace, the mercy, the loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom we are blessed together with your most holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Let us be attentive, holy things for the holy. One is holy, one is Lord, Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Let the light of your countenance shine on, O Lord, shine upon us. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I believe, O Lord, and confess that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am first. Accept me this day, O Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not tell the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas. But like the thief, I confess to you, remember me, Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come into your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come into your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be unto me, not for judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. I have sinned without number. Forgive me, O Lord. For those that will be receiving communion in the Eastern Rite, um, you're invited to approach and simply ask you to tilt your head back, open the mouth, do not, please do not stick your tongue out the way that it used to be done in the, in the Latin Rite, keep the tongue in, and the communion will be given to you without the spoon touching your lips, your tongue. Please do not close your mouth over the spoon and then the spoon will be placed to the side, and we have fresh spoons. Here. 
I invite the Eucharistic ministers that have been selected to please approach and to, there'll be two Eucharistic ministers on the side here, distributing communion in the Latin Rite and the, down the center for the Eastern Rite communion. Inviting His Grace and the Brother Priest to please come down. invite you to just take the spoon, press it down into the, and then receive the communion, and I will take the spoon from you when you're completed. Okay, return to your spot, Father. Turn to your spot, please. Will this be divided? Approach with the fear and the love of God and with faith. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. God the Lord has appeared to us.
Behold as having touched your lips, your guilt is taken away and your sins are forgiven. Please stand. Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith. We worship the undivided Trinity for having saved us. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, above all the earth, be your glory. Blessed be your God, always, now, and forever and ever. Amen. May our mouths be filled with your praise, O Lord, that we may sing of your glory. For you made us worthy to partake of your holy, divine, immortal, and life-giving mysteries. Preserve us in your holiness that we may meditate all the day upon your justice. And the right, having received the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, life-giving us the mysteries of Christ, let us rightly give thanks to the Lord. Help and save, have mercy, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Having asked that this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For you are our sanctification. We give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. You bless those who bless you, O Lord, and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the fullness of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house and glorify them by your divine power. Do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priest, to our nation under God, to our government, and to all your people. For all good, giving every perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of light. We give glory, thanks, and worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Blessed be the name. We have just reached the halfway mark of the Divine Liturgy. <laughs> First of all, I would like to, words fail to express the, to, to, uh, express the extent of the gratitude that I have, Archbishop Brian, Father James, for inviting us and allowing us to celebrate together and to, to pray for the people of Ukraine. 
So I'd like to also, I forgot to welcome those that are following online, because this service is live streamed. So, hello. <laughs> Just to make sure that, again, thank you for your prayers and for your support. Uh, this is the time where we make the announcements. So this year, the difference between the two calendars for Easter is only one week. So peep, you'll be celebrating here in this parish Easter on April 17th. The community, the Ukrainian Catholic community in Sydney and Halifax, Dartmouth, will be celebrating Easter on April 24th. And that is the next time we will be meeting in St. Anthony of Padua Church in Dartmouth, just on Courtney Street. And we will have the full slate of services, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, Holy Saturday, Easter Sunday. And this year we do not have to rush. We don't have to have a start at four o'clock in the morning because the Roman Catholics have their liturgy at nine. So today, this year, we are allowed to start a little bit later. And so uh, please, Peter should be notifying everyone if he hasn't already as to the order of services. I have to rush back tonight, back to Sydney, because tomorrow I am beginning a three-day retreat online. So it's for the eparchy, but everyone is welcome to sign in. Um, it's no signing in. It's not, it's a, it'll be on YouTube, 8 o'clock in the evening, our time, 7 o'clock in Toronto. And the site to access it, if you could remember, live, L-I-B-E, dot, this is the hard part, S J. U-C-C, -C. it stands for St. Joseph's Ukrainian Catholic Church. If you remember St. Joseph's, you should remember Ukrainian Catholic Church. Just take the initials, S-J-U-C-C -C dot C-A. And that will get you onto the site. There, I'm not, there, there's no limit to the number of people who could follow. I know people will be following from, uh, from Vancouver. I've received phone calls. So again, if you're interested in a, in a sort of a not so orthodox retreat, um, you're, you're more than welcome to join in and to listen in. And unfortunately, there will be no um, no question period at the end, I don't think so. And then the following week, the first week in April, Tonadjilok Vivtorok Ibchitver, Perši Teštin Kvitnya Rekolekti Po Ukrainske, Na Tomu Samomu Sajt, Takšut Live, SJUCC, Krapka, Live Krapka, SJUCC, Krapka, CA. And Father James, I'm sorry you've been standing there. Wrong ear, I'm deaf. I'm allowed to take off your... I have to apologize. Usually my beard is down to here, but why I had to be clean shaven for the past two years, I am the infectious disease chaplain at the regional hospital in Sydney, and the N95 mask does not fit properly with any facial hair. So that's the cross that I've been carrying, shaving every day. <laughs> On behalf of the parishioners of the Lady of Guadalupe, thank you so much for honoring us to host the Divine Lit Liturgy right here in the St. Peter's site. Uh, we have a, two things today, just so you know. There is a collection today uh, which will be going towards Chalice. Chalice, uh, an organization founded right here in our diocese, directly supports over 4,000 families in Ukraine right now. So any offering made today 
will go towards supporting those families. You can also go on our website or go directly to the Chalice website. Finally, uh, we have a, a small presentation, a small gift for your, your, your community from ours and um, uh, in, in hopefully to help remember this, this occasion. Am I allowed to unwrap Please, please, yes. The sunflower is the national flower of Ukraine. I don't know if you were aware of that. And it says, at the bottom it says, let there be peace in the year 2022. That is a, a pure sentiment, and I, I thank you for your prayers and your support and for this uh, a, a memento and a, a gift from your community to our community. Would his grace like a few words? Okay. After the final blessing and dismissal, we still have the veneration of the cross. And then with the grace, with your permission, I know it's not done on a regular basis, if ever, will sing the two national anthems for Canada and for Ukraine. So inviting everyone to please stand as we complete today's service. The blessing of the Lord be upon you with his grace, the love for mankind always, now and forever and ever. Amen. Glory be to you, Christ God, our hope. Glory be to you. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Hospoli pomiloi, hospoli pomiloi, hospoli pomiloi, blahaslove. May Christ, our true God, risen from the dead, whose veneration of the cross we commemorate today through the prayers of his Immaculate Mother, of the holy, glorious, and illustrious apostles of our venerable and godly fathers, of our holy Father among the Saint John Christus, of my Bishop of Constantinople, of Saint Peter, the patron saint of this community, and Saint Andrew, the patron saint of the Ukrainian community here in Halifax, Dartmouth, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Amen. The COVID protocol requests that people do not make the prostration to the ground, um, but uh, which is the tradition. I will be making a prostration for you today. Christu Tvojemu poklanjajemo šia, Vladeko i Svjate Voskresenja Tvoje slavimo. Vladiko i Svjate Voskresenja Tvoje slavi Krestu Tvojemu Poklanjajemo šta Vladiko i Svjate Voskresenja tvoje slavi.
Living in Canada, there's much to be grateful for. And with respect, for the, to show the respect that we have for the country and its people, we'll sing the Canadian National Anthem. And then afterwards, for prayers, for peace, for end of violence, for love. Jimi Hendrix, I think, it's attributed to him. And he said, only when the power of love overcomes the love of power will there be peace. So again, something that we strive and something that we hope for. But let us now join together for O Canada. O Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love in all our sons command. With throwing hearts we see thee rise, the true north strong and free. From far and wide, O Canada, we stand on guard for thee. God, keep our land glorious and free. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and please keep us in your prayers. Please keep us in your prayers. God bless. Have a safe trip home. I, I want to thank. I want to thank the Krillos, to the, the singers who led in the singing, and again, um, feel free to ask questions, and uh, we'll be packing up slowly, but. There's always, if you need clarity as to what you're doing wrong in the Latin rite, I'll be happy to, 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 to straighten you out. Have a blessed and holy day. <laughs>